assalam alaikum students today we will discuss the quadratic functions the general form of the quadratic function along y axis is given below or we can write f of x is equals to 2x square plus bx plus c where a b c are real numbers and provided that a is not equal to 0 dear students the following graphs illustrates the two possibilities of y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c we also call these paragraph uh, graphs as parabola figure a illustrates when the vertex of the graph lies at its maximum point and figure b illustrates when the vertex of the parabola lies at its minimum point the vertex of each parabola can be calculated from the following formula v h comma k is a notation used to represent vertex the x coordinate of the vertex is h represented by h and the y coordinate from uh, by the k the dash lines in both graph students represent the line of symmetries in both possibilities the equation of line of symmetry in each possibility can be calculated by the by the following equation the student these are the dash lines and the dash lines and dash lines are called equation of line of symmetry and can be calculated by x is equal to minus b upon 2a the equation of line of symmetry is nothing but the x coordinate of the vertex student c from the vertex the h coordinate is minus b upon 2a which is also the same for the equation of line of symmetry of parabola minus b upon 2a minus b upon 2a in both the cases the minimum or maximum value the minimum or maximum value can be obtained by the y intercept of the vertex and defined by the following formula y is equals to minus 4ac minus b square upon 4a the equation of line of symmetry is nothing but the y coordinate of the vertex the x y intercepts are also clearly mentioned on the graphs students let's see again the graphs where the x and y intercepts are illustrated see student these are the x intercepts and this is these are the y intercepts in both the possibilities and this is uh, as we have discussed this is the line of symmetry this is the y intercept and these two coordinates are the x intercepts for graph b and these two points are the x intercept for the graph a and this is the line of symmetry for graph a and this is the y intercept for the graph a and we have also clearly see the the y intercept of the vertex is also called the maximum or minimum value of the parabola now students the second thing in in parabolas concavity of of the function or the parabola is y is equals to ax square plus bx is is given or mentioned in in these two graphs the above graphs illustrates that if a is positive the graph will be called concave up and the vertex of the parabola lies at its minimum student this is mentioned in in this figure here the the vertex of the parabola at its minimum and the a is positive therefore it the shape of the parabola is called concave up and on the other hand the shape of the parabola is called the concave down where the maximum point of the vertex is lies here which is mentioned v is equals to 0 comma minus 1 if if a is negative the graph will be called concave down as we have discussed and the vertex of the parabola will be at its maximum which is mentioned in this graph students here we have also discussed here here this this is the graph the second points are related to the graph the right side graph now we are going to solve the following example based on the above discussion 
example, we have given the function y is equal to 2x square minus x minus 15. Part A, determine the location of vertex. From the equation above, we have found a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 1, and c is equal to 15. Substituting these values in the formula for the vertex, and we can and we get x. Uh, we can, we get the coordinates of the vertex v h comma y 0 comma 0.25 or h k is equals to 0.25 comma minus 15.125. Part B. Determine the equation of line of symmetry from the from the coordinates of the vertex that we have obtained above. The equation of line of symmetry is h is equals to x 0.25. Note, as mentioned above, the value of h is also called the line of symmetry of the function y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Therefore, we can write the line of symmetry is s x is equals to 0.25. This would be this this would be the answer of part b. Now for the part c. The minimum value of the function y is equal to 2x square minus x minus 15 from the coordinates of the vertex that we have done above in part A. The minimum value of the parabola is given below k is equal to minus 15.125. Note as mentioned above, the value of k is the minimum when a is positive or maximum when a is negative value of the function y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c therefore we can write the minimum value of y is y is equals to minus 15.125 part d determine the x intercept of the given function remember students that x intercepts or x intercept is formed when a line intersects x axis and the y intercept is formed when a line intersects the x axis the following graphs illustrate illustrate the x y intercepts clearly students in this example the y intercept is where the line intersect the x axis where x is 0 and y is some point on y axis similar way x axis x intercept is the point where the line intersect the x axis and where y is equals to 0 on the x axis some x point for x intercept as we have seen from the graph we substitute y is equals to 0 in the given function we obtain the following quadratic equation. Students, remember many approaches are available to solve quadratic equations such as quadratic formula, factorization, completing the square method, etc. The quadratic formula is also popular among the students and given below. We have chosen factorization technique to solve the quadratic equation. One can use also use the quadratic formula to obtain the x coordinates or x intercepts of the given function. After solving, simplifying some steps to follow the quadratic, the factorization method, we have obtained minus 2.5 comma 0 and 3 comma 0 as the x intercepts of the given function. Part E determine y intercept of the given function for y intercept students we substitute x is equal to 0 into the given equation y x intercept y we put or substitute x is equal to 0 the answer is illustrated in the above graph and after substituting 0 in the given function we obtain y is equal to minus 15 or 
in in the coordinate representation we can write the y intercept as 0 comma minus 15 part f discuss the concavity of the given function remember students in earlier we have discussed that if a is positive the graph will be called concave up or if a is negative the graph will be called concave down the following figure illustrates the two possibilities in our example or in our question a is 2 here the coefficient of x square is 2 a is 2 this means a is positive Therefore, the concavity of the parabola is concave up. This was the answer of the part. Part G. Draw the graph of the function y is equal to 2x minus x minus 15. From the parts A to F, we have enough information to graph the given function. We have obtained from parts A to F as 1 the vertex which was 0.25 comma minus 15.125 2 x intercepts 3 y intercept number 4 the concavity of the graph students locate all the points on the graph as i have located The location, how to locate the points we have discussed in the previous topics. So you can take help from the previous topics. After tracing the points, we have obtained this graph. The graph of the given function. I have also mentioned the line of symmetry the vertex, the y-intercept, and the x-intercepts, or I have I have also mentioned the, the, the given equation, the given function of the parabola, which is illustrated here. This is the, the end of the uh, our problem or our example. Students, thank you students, Allah Hafiz.